Hi guys, I'm Song Jung Longas and welcome to Asian at Home in Jeju Island. <laughs> so this is our first Asian at Home and uh, recipe video we are filming during our traveling and uh, I don't think we never really talked to you about it that we don't know when this travel is going to be and it's gonna be a while uh, it's gonna be maybe a few months it can be maybe a couple of years maybe a few years we don't know until whenever we are tired of traveling so anyways uh, today I was going to show you one of Korean summer noodles I actually filmed the same recipe in Maui but I decided to refill them because I underestimate you guys that how much spicy and different options you guys like so I decided to show you a two different version instead of I just show you one in Maui today's recipe name is 들기름 막국수 it's a Korean wild sesame oil soba noodles it's a super delicious it's been super hot and trendy in Korea for like about a couple of years now but there's not many recipes out there in English so I decided to share with you guys because that's what I do so you need the soba noodles and I know my nail is very sparkly and like they are like all over the place every time I come to Korea this is what I do too <laughs> Just bring some water to boil and we're gonna cook some soba noodles and because of how fast this <laughs> recipe is we're just gonna start recipe by cooking the soba noodles after since we, we've been traveling and came to this Airbnb in Jeju Island I haven't cooking at all and I actually have been enjoying not cooking in the house because your kitchen is always nice and clean your house smells so nice and refreshed I'm like Oh my gosh, I haven't had this for like, I don't even know when and how long. But anyways, I'm gonna drop my soba noodles into boiling water. Okay, water is not all the way boiling, boiling yet, but I'm just gonna drop it because I'm hungry. So while the noodles are cooking, we are going to chop some red chili, green onion, and combine some sauce, and that will be it for the recipe. How easy is that? Bring your serving bowl, and yes, this early already. The dish is pretty much done. When you cook the noodles, the dish is pretty much done. So for the sauce, you need juju. So I'm using store-bought juju, but I just shared how to make homemade juju, plant-based version. So go ahead and check it out, that recipe video. I will put the link right here if you want to check it out or just use a store-bought one like this. So easy to make. So either spicy one, not spicy one, you need juju to season your noodles. The not spicy one, I'm gonna use this 들기름 Korean wild sesame oil. If you cannot find it, you can go ahead and use a really good quality sesame oil, regular sesame oil. And for the spicy one, I'm gonna use chili oil. I quickly made this chili oil this morning because I couldn't find the chili oil I like in Korea. You can use only this clear chili oil or you can use the chili oil with this all the chili flakes and everything together. It's up to you. I made this chili oil with only uh, cooking oil. I think I used the grapeseed oil, gochugaru and green onion. That's it. Mm, it smells so good. Anyways, I think my noodles are about to be done. Mm, okay. Rinse the noodles under cold water. Put this washed and drained cold noodles into the sauce mixture we made earlier. And just quickly give a little quick mix. So the noodles, let me just do it with my hand. <laughs> so noodles is like coated with the sauce evenly, like so. Oh, it smells so good already! <sighs> There's no easier than this cold noodle recipe out there. No easier than this and no delicious than this. Thanks, Jacob. <laughs> so for both of them, I'm gonna Garnish with the chopped green onions. And for red one, of course, a little red chilies. And for the classic version one, I'm gonna put some crushed sesame seeds right on top. They're not coming out. <laughs> I think they're gonna come out, so I'm gonna just do it with my hand. 
crush the kim. Right there. All right, guys, this was it. How easy was that? Like, I don't think there's no easier cold noodle recipe. It looks this good, this delicious, and this easy. So, you're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, I'll be back after I take a beauty shot of, you know, this food. You and I think we got something special And I don't need to try any harder It's just better, it's just good way to make it all My favorite time, eating Oh, that dilgirim smells so good Mmm Oh my god. 아니, 아니 뭐 이렇게 들어간 게 없는 게 맛있지. Let me try the spice one. Oh my god. It's gonna be even better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, 막걸리 한 잔. <웃음> 근데 맛있네. Mm. Mm. Spice one too? Oh, yeah, I want to feed myself Oh, uh, uh, okay, here. Splashing. Too, too, many, <laughs> too, too many times where <laughs> experiences. Mm. Mm. Oh, I wish I could get your eyes like that on the camera. Mm. <laughs> so good, ah. huh? Mm. It's like, it looks super dangerous. I need, I need to open a ramen. <laughs> We're traveling! Anyways, guys, remember, uh, remember, I was going straight into the closing. Remember, you can always cook this food. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> guys, if you guys liked my Dilgirum Makuk Soup, please give this video a thumbs up. And subscribe my channel for more delicious, authentic Asian recipes like this. And I will see you next time. And remember, you can always cook Asian food at your house, making it easy and fun. I'm Songyeong Longgast, and this is Asian at Home in Jeju Island. I will see you next time. Bye, guys. Mwah. I'm not going to go to the time machine.